Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Well, more nice weather is in store. Thursday will be a touch breezy, but temperatures rebounding nicely. It's going to stay mild through Saturday and then late Saturday into Sunday could get a few showers, maybe even some mountain snow as we get into the early part of Sunday. But it'd be a quick moving system. Doesn't appear to be a big impact at this point. But we'll be keeping you posted. I'll show you on the latest long range model in just a second. It's 37 in Spartanburg and in Lauren sitting at 50 in Greenville, 36 up in Asheville. So quite a wide variety of temperatures but no matter what, you're going to need the light to medium, even possibly heavy jacket tomorrow morning, depending on your cold tolerance, and it's going to stay clear overnight. We have some showers to the north, but those should stay away from our area. So tomorrow morning, waking up around freezing. So yes, I know we're in a warm up, so to speak, but the afternoons are really when we're going to notice it. The mornings will still be chilly. Temperatures in the mid 30s, 34 for Spartanburg and 36 in Anderson. Highs will make it into the mid 50s in the mountains mountains, which is a few degrees above normal for this time of year and low 60s for the upstate. But I mentioned it will be breezy. Let's track those winds here on future cast 9 AM. We'll be looking at a wind at about 10 miles an hour to even up to about 15 in the upstate and then into the afternoon. That's when it's going to be its gustiest. So just keep that in mind for any plans you have outside 22 mile an hour wind there in Greenville 19 in Asheville and then up into the evening hours. We'll see those winds settle but it'll make it feel a bit cooler into your late evening plans. Then looking ahead, we've got a temperature drop on the way. We're going to have mild air sticking around through Saturday, but by Sunday back to reality, so to speak. It's all thanks to a cold front could even bring a few showers by this weekend. Here's our long range model dry through Saturday or Friday rather and Saturday looks mostly dry in the upstate, but mountains may see a few showers as we get into the later evening hours on Saturday and then Sunday morning. Last little bit of moisture pushes through could get a few snowflakes as the colder air mingles with the moisture in the mountains and may get a couple showers in the upstate, but it'd be very brief and out of here fast so that we would just basically be talking about how much cooler it feels outside. So for your Saturday outlook, highs in the 60s, and then we'll see that drop in temperatures on Sunday. In fact, a big drop for the mountains. You'll be getting into the mid 40s, uh, so we'll go from spring to winter and a look at your next seven days heading into next week. Valentine's Day. It's going to be chilly 40s for the mountains and those lows down into the 20s and the upstate will have a slight chance of rain late Saturday into Sunday. Uh, otherwise, we'll at least enjoy the mild weather through early in the weekend and then it turns chilly just in time for Valentine's Day. Of course, the morning news from 430 to 10 a.m. for the latest on your forecast. Now